it's an early start today. It's about quarter past quarter past five, twenty past five. I'm going over to Runcorn or Stockport area and I'm going to see Dean from MDB Gas and we're going to have a look at some commercial plant rooms and the first thing we're going to look at, we're going to look at an Andrews water heater. I just thought it'd be interesting. Um, I'm interested. I'm a domestic gas engineer. I do have my commercial qualifications but I've never really done much commercial. I did many, many years ago when I was an apprentice. We did do a bit of um, commercial then, but I haven't done any since. So what we'll do now is I'll pass you over to, we'll go over to Dean and we'll have a look in some of these plant rooms. So first of all, we're going to look at an Andrews water heater. My name's Alan Hart and today we're working, I'm working with Dean from MDB Gas. MDB Gas and we're looking at some Andrews water heaters and we're just going to show you how how an Andrews water heater works so I've just got one behind us here it's quite an old one it's an open flute it's an open flute one and I'll just show you that now so it's got the burner in the bottom we can see that that's just that's just where the flames are so from that you've got your heat heat goes in and it goes just into the inside of the cylinder goes through the cylinder heats the water up and then your flue gases just go up through your flue above and then it's got a diverter um, what's that one called again? Di uh, diverter flue draft diverter flue draft diverter I can't, I can't remember then flue draft diverter so you've got your flue draft diverter there it's a long time since, since I've seen one of them and that just goes up and just goes outside. So that's your Andrews water heater. So I'm going to pass you over to Dean now and he's going to tell us about it. So this is a standalone uh, independent gas fired water generator, water heater. Basically you have a burner, so you've got your gas valve, uh, you've got your burner, up underneath it is actually lit so you won't be able to see it but if you can hear that rumbling in there now if you can hear that that's because it's scaled up that's because it's very very lack of service and maintenance eventually that will go as the um, anodes are no longer existent but basically cold feed in hot feed out Hot water return, um, standard natural draft flue. So that hot water return is that on a bronze pump then somewhere? That will be on a bronze pump somewhere, which are those on the back wall over there. Right. Okay. So that'll be. So that's around. open vent as well. Open vent. No, uh, that's uh, at a seal system. Um, no, I mean it's open flue. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Open vent. <laughs> open flue. Yeah. Open flue pipes. Yeah. So that's just a, a hot water cylinder that's got gas to it that just, gas that, that just yeah. eats itself. Yeah. They, they've been around for a long time. They've now, this this concept now doesn't, they've stopped doing them. Andrews, Lock and Bar, a lot of them, they've now got more energy efficient because that's something these aren't, is energy efficient. Do they have a backup on these then, like an emergenator or no. anything like that? No. No, so they're just no, gas fired? If it goes down, it goes down. Uh, you've got to be pretty quick with your parts and stuff. To be honest, there's not much to go wrong. Um, thermostat. So you've got your thermostat there. Um, we've not long had a bit of an issue with one of them in a, a previous property, a previous home. So yes, they fail. Gas valve. Again, um, like every, like every other gas valve, really. So is that that's where you do your uh, uh, pressure? Yeah, you can do your inlet, your inlet pressure. So that's where you burn the pressure on that yeah. side. Yeah. So obviously this room will need some ventilation, will it, for this? It will do. 
So what's this valve here then, Dean? This is a, it's known as a TMP valve. TMP. TMP. TNP. Temperature, temperature, pressure relief valve. So if you look at the data badge, it will be set at a degrees to what it will blow off on. 90 degrees. 90 degrees. And then if you look again, it will have a, a pressure. Seven bar, yeah. So seven bar, so whichever becomes greater, it will it will it'll dump it. Inside there is a is a small probe and that's the one that takes the temperature. The pressure side is just on a normal spring as you would do on a domestic side. But the, the probe does the temperature one. Quite bulletproof really. Don't tend to go very often but yeah, expensive if you do. Thank you very much, Dean, for that. Um, so that's your Andrews, Andrews water heater. So that was the Andrews water heater. Um, if, you, if you like this type of video, please add some comments below and let me know. And I'll try and, I'll try and add some more, um, if that's what you want. Just let me know. And thanks for watching.